Hello there and welcome to my 15th 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, um, it's partial 3D physics. This is just part of it. This isn't all I have. Um, but um, this is all I could fit into one tutorial. Now, as you can see here, um, now this is also not just of the physics, it's also um, zooming. Um, okay, so you probably want to see it. Alright, so I have this little crate um, box thingy, and uh, it's on this train. So as you can see here, it is, well, you probably can't see it that well because my screen recorder is slow when it comes to recording GM games, okay? This is not how slow it actually is. So, anyway, as you can see here, this little box I have is actually bending with the terrain. Now it's not perfect. If I um, wanted to, I could probably take a while just refining the numbers and then it might end up being perfect. But this is pretty close. As you can see here, we have pretty good, pretty good physics. Now as you can see, it's kind of turning. It's pretty flat there. Alrighty, so um, another thing I will demonstrate is zooming. So I am now zooming out by scrolling and I'm scrolling in. Now of course you can make this faster, you can make this slower, it does not have to be the speed at all. It's quite easy to change it and I'll show you how. Okay. Now in third person view when you're zooming you might notice some um, weird side effects. Everything will kind of turn into a um, kind of a plantier idea. As in yeah, mirror idea. Now in first person view, you're probably gonna want to do that for scoping. I have used that too, in fact that'll be in my next game. But um yeah, it doesn't do that in there, and it's basically the same idea. So I'll show you how to do it, and it will work in both first person and third person view. Alrighty, so now I'm going to quickly show you the code on how to do it. Well, not just the code. Alright, so right now, I'm going to show you, kind of, the secret on why, on how I'm doing this um, physics idea. So I just set um, two objects to visible because they are the objects that um, are making this thing work. Alrighty, so, as you can see, I have two little elapsoids here. What are they doing? Well, what they are doing is they are getting the Z height and staying around my character. So as you can see, here we have one in front, that's always right in front of me, and here we have one that's always right beside me. Now you can figure out how to do that, or you can just look at my code. I'm not quite going to explain it to you, but then what happens is this object, main object, is defining that Z and this Z, and it gets the difference between that Z and this Z, and then once it does that, then it um, uh, rotates the amount that that Z is, and so basically um, how you do this is the farther away it is, then obviously the bigger the difference it is. So this, um, so let's see right here, as you can see, um, right, so this one now, this part, this little lapse right here, is obviously lower, and so, it's tilting. Now, of course, it's not perfect, see, as you can see, it's not actually touching, but you don't really notice that, and if you're not being really picky, then it's not really hard to tell. It's hard to tell, I mean. So, like right here, for example, it's pretty good. So, yeah, when you're moving around, like, you know, let's say you're wanting to do a racing game on terrain, which is a very good idea. Then you can do this. Now, also, if you're wanting it to, let's say, fly off a jump, I will. Pr I might show you how to do that on the next tutorial, um, geophysics tutorial. But this one, I'm not going to show you how to do that. How to, how to do that? Because then you have to get the Z speed. Now, also, another thing I'm going to do in the next um, 3D physics one is I'm going to tell you how to jump on blocks, because I have gotten a question about that. Oh, yeah, so now you're wanting to know how to do this zooming idea, right? Okay. Well, in your object, all you have to do is set um, a variable zoom to 35. I'll tell you why it has to be 35. All right, so everything's the same in this code, except for one little thing. D3D set projection. Um, EXT. This e little external here at the end is a little different. Now what that does is it adds these things at the end. It adds um, zoom and 
just yeah, little numbers. And I don't really know what this one does. This one and this one is Z near and Z far. So what I can do is I make this number smaller, then it'll only draw up to that far away from me. And if I put this one, then it'll draw after that far away from me. So yeah, I don't really like to use that very much. Unless, of course, um, the game is getting too slow and I just want to cut away everything at a certain difference, distance. Um, yeah, but right now I'm just leaving it at a big number because, uh, alright. So basically, um, it's this zoom right here. So, now 1.3, I really don't know what that does or why I'm, uh, I'm supposed to set it at 1.3, but oh well. Right, so this zoom is all you have to add. And these things here. Okay, so zoom has to be at 35. Otherwise, it'll be zoomed as far in as it could go right away, because like I think default is 35. Anyway, so now mouse wheel up, Z variable zoom to relative minus 1. Mouse wheel down, Z variable zoom to 1 relative. That's it. That's how to make it go. Now, it did take me a little while to figure out um, how to do this, because of course that hit 1.3. And if you don't do that, then it does an expected error, and it doesn't even tell me what's wrong. So you definitely have to get those numbers right. So yeah, that's all there is to it. So now I'm going to make these invisible again. And play the game once again. That way you can see it. Okay, it's loading. There we go. Once again, we have our train. And the balls aren't there, so you really don't notice anything. And it looks pretty perfect and actually kind of amazing. Even though, when you really think about it, the technology isn't actually that hard. It just takes a little while for these ideas to come to your head. Alrighty, so that's all I have for this 15th 3D tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.